Welcome back to another episode, guys. We are back with more football. Today, we got Optic uh, Retail, so we got a Blaster and a Mega. So, I've only opened one Mega before. We'll see what we can get out of this one, but um, yeah, it's exciting. Like I said, anytime you can find or have somebody find for you uh, some retail football or basketball or any kind of retail cards, in the wild, it's a big deal. So, uh, can I open these up? If you guys don't know, if you've never seen my videos before, um, these are 24 cards in a blaster. You're getting three uh, purple shocks in them usually, and you're looking for those hollows. So, you get anywhere from one to two typically. Um, they say one on average. So, you could end up with none, but uh, getting right into it. They were all in the centerpiece, so I don't think we'd be getting a one of those rookie premieres or anything like that in these. Um, there we go. So those are those little patches, which are okay, but give me a good rookie quarterback instead. We'll, we'll take that every day of the week. Um, speaking of rookie quarterbacks, the backdrop today is one Mr. Joe Burrow. So I actually pulled him out of a hanger, I believe. Uh, that's at, uh, the blue scope. And then we have Justin Herbert for my LA Chargers. And then we have Jordan Love. So, uh, we got Cortland Sutton starting it off, Bobby Wagner, this is the retro, Fran Turkington, for the Vikings, I had, you guys seen the last episode, the Viking like luck I had for rookie Vikings, it was terrible. Good cards, uh, or sorry, good parallels of those cards, just not good players, uh, Fran Turkington, and then for the Bengals, the rated rookie, are we getting Joe back? That's not Joe. T. Higgins. It's not terrible. Could be the... I see a Tyler Boyd there. AJ Green looks like he's going other places. So, first hit of the day, T. Higgins. Throw him up. Let's show a little bit of love here. We don't know how you guys are liking me throwing in the prices uh, in all these two. Obviously, I try to just give some recent sale comps. They might be you may you may be coming across this video a year later. Maybe they're different. That'll happen. But uh, I try just to grab like the kind of the last couple sales off eBay and kind of give you a range of what some of these cards are selling for. So uh, Josh Allen, not the quarterback, the defensive end. We got DeAndre Hopkins. What a great trade by Houston. Uh, we got a purple wave. It's a Viking. Oh my. Not this again. We're going to go through this all again. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, KJ Osborne. So there is the first uh, purple wave. We hit him last time. Uh, then for a Titan, Cole McDonald had a firm. Cole, who I believe is a Seattle now, I think I checked the other day. Um, he's no longer with Tennessee. So, it's a different... Some of these quarterbacks, these late round quarterbacks, they're like Nate Stanley, who I hope I never have to say his name again on this thing. Because I've got so many Nate Stanley cards. Um, he, like, was cut before the season. And then now he's apparently going back on a futures contract. Essentially like a professional tryout. Uh, Adam Thielen, Tyler Boyd, there you go, that running mate to him. We got, looks like a cowboy, Denver Bronco, KJ Hamler in the hollow. There we go, that's a good one. Obviously, we'd rather Jerry Judy, but, and then we got, for the Bears, Darnell Mooney? Darnell Mooney. A lot of people are high on him. Um, people kind of said, look, Mitch Trubisky is a bum. Mitch Trubisky can't throw. Mitch Trubisky completed two passes over 20 yards all last year. It's all true. <laughs> there's, there's not really any way to dispute any of that. Um, yeah, it's what they have over there, Mitch Trubisky. Like that is, it's Jacksonville 2.0. That's all it is over over in uh, with the Chicago Bears. They had Mitch Trubisky. They were okay running back with Mitch Trubisky, just like the Jags were with Blake Bortles. That's what you get. Uh, Miles Sanders. 
Kieran Johnson. We got the Niner. Ayuk. Brandon Ayuk. There we go. That's a better one. Brandon Ayuk and the Purple Wave. Those are sweet looking cards too. Kind of see in this. I'm actually doing a video during the day, so you get some daylight going on here. But um, Brandon Ayuk in the Purple Wave. And then behind him is a Ram. Is it going to be Terrell Lewis or is it Cam Akers? Cam Akers. Wow. But that's a pack. Uh, Cam Akers showing up. I think it's the first time I pulled a Cam Akers for, for Optic. But Brandon Ayuk, that's a get him in both. Obviously, he's got to fight for reps there with Debo Samuel and a couple of the other guys. Um, but I think Brandon Ayuk is a pretty good receiver. And I think in that offense, with that Shanahan offense, I think that could work out pretty good for, for everybody. Cam Akers, I'm all for that. That's a decent card. Uh, we got two packs left out of the blaster. So make sure you guys like, subscribe, uh, and comment. I'm a Chargers fan. You guys can see it. I wear the bolts on my shoulders. Uh, this is a Joey Bosa jersey. Let me hear who you guys root for. If it's a, if it's the Patriots, I'm sorry. You had a good run for a couple for what 20 years. Now you gotta suck like the rest of the league. Uh, Chris Godwin, Sam Darnold. Is it another Titan? Darrington Evans, maybe Christian Fulton out of LSU. And behind him is a lion. Is this DeAndre Swift? Julian Aquara. So, oop. Not the not the craziest name. I kind of wish I understand why like the offensive players get all the, all the love, but there's no reason why someone like Chase Young, who's you know awesome uh, and a and a great um, defensive player, is so much less. I understand maybe quarterbacks, but like at least that if some of the defensive players should be at least be on like par with some of the receivers and running backs and stuff. Not the chance. Uh, like I bought a joey bosa silver prism for it was 16 dollars canadian shipped to me that was like 12 dollars us joey bosa is like one of the what three five best defensive you know ends in all of football and the guy's worth 12 dollars for his rookie silver it's dumb uh von miller Devonte adams in the hollow there you go that's really heavy on the left wow uh, and then we got for the Green Bay. Nope, for the Jets. We're looking at not a rated rookie, Ashton Davis. Ashton Davis. I've got him in the hollow and I got him in a couple other things, but I don't even know if he played this year. I didn't really. Sorry, I didn't follow the Jets a whole lot this year. They're kind of just like a tire fire. Uh, and then we got for the Browns this Grant Delpit. Grant Delpit was ever. I got like a. Couple of random little patch things of Grant Delpit. I might even have an auto of Grant Delpit. There's a whole lot of Grant Delpit. So not a terrible um, start. We got T Higgins. We got Cam Akers. We got Brandon Ayuk in the Purple Wave, and we got a KJ Hamler. Not a terrible. Now, if you're buying that on the resale market for ninety dollars, or ninety dollars Canadian, or hundred dollars Canadian, which ends up being like seventy five, seventy seventy five for US guys. Is it worth it then? No, ways. and I know that's the part of it. It's just a gamble at that point when you're doing the resale. And I understand breakers don't care uh, because breakers are just like, yep, you guys are going to buy into the break. It's going to be a good deal for you because you're buying into a random team or a random spot. But, yeah, open up the Mega. So 40 cards in the Mega. You're looking for um, Hyper Blue rookie cards on average. Um, and I believe you're also, where is it? Uh, I thought there was an auto. Maybe not. Maybe not out of these boxes. But anyways, we'll get into it. So we got 40 cards, so 10 packs, four cards per pack. Um, yeah, we'll get right into it here. So I can't remember if I opened one mega before. But I opened it along with some mega, uh, with some blasters and hangers. So I don't know if I, I can't remember if, how well I did on the. I think that mega I did pretty good. I think the mega I did pretty good, and the hangers I did pretty good before. It's the uh, 
Blasters have kind of eluded me from having really big hits. So uh, Darius Leonard, Travis Kelsey. Here's our hyper blue. It's the Titan. Wow, what is it, the Titans tonight? Uh, or today. We got Cole McDonald in the hyper blue. That's a sweet looking card. Kind of like a snakeskin type of thing, but Cole McDonald, not who you want. We got a Viking behind him. Nate Stanley. That that is not the two rookie quarterbacks that you want. Uh, I told you, Nate, I didn't want to see you back around here. I get the bouncers over here to throw them out. It's, I have so many Nate Stanley cards from breaks and everything else. I'm just tired of them. Tired of Nate Stanley. <laughs> Mike Gusecki. We got DJ Moore, who I also got a ton of. We have for the Rams and a hollow. It's a rate of rookie. Cam Akers? Cam Akers. There we go. That guy's a beast. Like, you guys, like, you really saw it at the end of the year. Uh, but that guy just came on at the end. Looking good. And then behind him is a Jet. Denzel Mims. Okay. Okay. That's a, that is a way better, <laughs> way better uh, second pack than what the first one was. The, that Cole McDonald is, yeah, just. I swear, like, and some of those rookies, like, what do you guys do with your rookie quarterbacks? Do you hold on to them? Do you, you know, get rid of them? Um, like, some of those guys, like, do you hold on to them just in case they become something? Because, like, is it worth it to sell it for the dollar? Probably not, right? Like, you don't get anything out of those cards, so. Uh, that's not a good color at the back. Uh, <laughs> you get Zeke, you get George Kittle. I was. I thought that was a parallel the first time. It's just random blue. Uh, another hyper blue. It's a Denver Bronco. Right, rookie. That looks like KJ Hamler. KJ Hamler showing up again. There we go. Uh, and then Seattle Seahawks, Jordan Brooks. So KJ Hamler. Nothing against you, buddy. But we're kind of looking for Jerry. Jerry Judy. Throw him back there. There's some of the parallels in, in Optic. A couple good rated rookies. KJ Hamler just flies. Uh, so if, that, if they can ever get that going up. They got a plethora of receivers over there. Cortland Sutton, Jerry Judy, KJ Hamler. Um, like they got a lot. Albert O, Noah Fant for tight end. Stephon Diggs, Daniel Jones. Is this a, my dominance? Dominators, Drew Brees. Dominators, and then we got for the Raiders Henry Ruggs. Henry Ruggs, I have so many Henry Ruggs in this, like for the Raider rookies. I think I have like three or four now. I'm a Chargers fan, so they're just teasing me here, giving me Raiders and Broncos. I think give me next some Chiefs. It's a tough to, it's a tough time. I just have to deal with Patrick Mahomes in my division for the next decade. Ask me how I'm feeling about that. Luckily, I got a pretty good stud back there, but um, see if he ever shows up on the episode other than a Elite Series. But Jimmy G, uh, Will Fuller, we got for the Dallas Cowboys, uh, Ben DiNucci. What is with these rookie quarterbacks? Nate Stanley, Cole McDonald, and Ben DiNucci. Uh, for the Green Bay Packers, it's Josh DeGuara. Or, oh, I thought it was Josh's. Was it Josiah DeGuara? That is a... But, hey, last time we had a pack like that where it was a just terrible uh, rookie quarterback... We got a good pack after that. So, uh, Taysom Hill, Dak the Ankle. Is this Darnell Mooney? Darnell Mooney, I've also got a ton of him. If he's going to pop off this year, I'm going to be very happy because I have like four of him in different parallels for this stuff. I think I've got Purple Scope, Hollow. It's just everywhere. And then for the Chargers, I said it last time. They had terrible, two terrible quarterbacks. Made up for it with the next one. It's a rate of rookie. It's a helmet. It's a 
Josh McCauley. Fourth string running back. <sighs> Maybe he can pull it back this year. He had a terrible rookie season. Um, like not even just like hit the rookie wall. Like just, just not a good rookie season in the slightest. So, as of right now, the Blasters kind of get the leg up on the <laughs> on the Mega. Obviously, we're only halfway through this, but. Uh, Jared Goff, Tredavis White, another dominate, or this is my house, TJ Watt in the my house. And we got, for the Jets, we got Ashton Davis. Thank you for showing back up, Ashton. I don't think we missed you. So we got three packs left. So we got... You imagine buying this for like $150 US or $200 Canadian, and these are the hits so far. Uh, Love Bell, Terry McLaurin, it's a hollow, it's a lion, and Deontay Swift, or is it going to be Jeff Okuda? Kirion Johnson. Okay, I guess. Uh, and behind him is a Buffalo Bill. It's not a rated rookie. It is AJ Epinesa. It's a defensive end. Out of like, was he at a temple or something? Oh, Iowa. Okay, this one feels thicker. So this is probably that, um, the premier, or uh, what's the, what are they called? It's hockey, I think it's premier. It's, um, anyways, rookie phenoms. That's probably what that one is. Rookie Phenoms. So we got Deshaun Watson. We got Ryan Kerrigan. We got for the Washington football team, it's a rate of rookie Antonio Gibson. Okay. I'll take it. Um, small victories at this point. A little heavy on the bottom, but pretty good. Card overall. And then for the Minnesota Vikings, KJ Osborne. I need to look because Justin Jefferson just doesn't like me. Apparently, that's all I've all I've understood out of this. But Antonio Gibson, it's a good card. Uh, we'll take nothing against the KJ Hamler, but Antonio Gibson's done a little bit more in the NFL, like 200 yards last year. It's wild. And last pack, I think that's last pack. Yep, that's last pack. I said this is probably that rookie phenoms. Let's see if we can get out of this. The rookie quarterbacks kind of avoiding me lately. Uh, the good, sorry, the good rookie quarterbacks. I'm getting lots of rookie quarterbacks. Cole McDonald, Ben DiNucci, Nate Stanley. Uh, yeah, getting all of them. But Burrow, Herbert, Tua, Jordan Love. Those are the ones I'm looking for here. Aaron Donald. It's a Packer. That's probably Jordan Love. Quentin Sevis. We got AJ Terrell. I've got some. Oh, it's AJ Terrell. AJ Terrell's followed me around all year, too. And then the Green Bay Packers. Oh, no, it's AJ Dillon. Okay. AJ Dillon showing up for some more running backs. So AJ Dillon in the little handkerchief there. So there we go. Rookie Phenoms, little patch. I think it's game day used or nothing. That's just uh, Yeah, it's not from any specific game or event. They kind of just threw a, a hanky in there. So there you go. Do I have I probably have a sleeve for that somewhere, but so that's it. Um, let me know what you guys think. I said what you guys think of the prices for some of this stuff. Um, you know, I always like to hear what you guys think, what your feedback is. It is rough um, <laughs> to open up. Like I said, I'm just lucky I got this at retail pricing, not uh, not the scalpers prices, not the the resale prices. Because like I said, I've I've sold stuff um, on the resale. I've bought some hockey cards on the resale. 
um, for packs and stuff. I understand. Like sometimes you do it just because you really want a certain product. Um, but this, these are, I don't know why that won't fit in there. Uh, but these are just crazy. The prices that some of these are going for. Uh, and just imagine like 200 bucks or $150 us into something like that. And that's what you pull out. Um, that'd be pretty, pretty frustrating. So, uh, make sure you guys hit that like, hit that subscribe. Um, I always open up stuff, whether it's hockey, whether it's football, basketball, it's all on playlists. They're all on the channel. If you go check it out. Um, but yeah, like I said, hopefully you guys like the video, leave a like, leave a comment. And, uh, for Eric from the bench, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys.